Big Fat Man Scoop, Crook the Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Batman school, Big Brando. Let's go. Satin, everybody. Boy, Big Brando. And do you have a hard time laying down your transfer straight? Let me help you out. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are you thought about or you purchased some of those fancy little rulers to help you align your transfers to get them straight. And you still notice that your designs are still crooked on the t-shirt. So if you're still having issues, look no further. I got you. When laying transfers down, it's not the transfer only. You have to remember it starts with laying the t-shirt down straight first. So I'm going to show you guys in this video everything I do to lay the t-shirt down, how I lay the transfers, and how I make sure I get it straight and even press every single time something that those little rulers don't do is align your t-shirt for you it starts with making sure your t-shirt is straight first so I'm gonna take the camera in the other room show you the heat press and show you exactly what I do and why you don't need those fancy rulers all right check it out here's my heat press right here this is a heat press nation 15 by 15 signature pro heat press slide out drawer lifesaver if you don't have a slide out drawer get you one but if you don't have one this technique will still work. If your heat press is not a 15 by 15, it'll still work. Whether it's 9 by 13, 16 by 20, whatever size heat press you have. Swing away, clamshell, whatever you have, find the center of your heat press. How do you find the center of a heat press? I know this is 15 inches right here, right? I take a ruler and I measure out 15 inches. What's half of 15? Seven and a half. Seven and a half straight back is the center of the actual press get your ruler find the center of your press basic simple math if this was a 16 inch wide press then eight inches this is a 15 by 15 so seven and a half is the center of this platen right here why is that important because i put a piece of tape back here to show me the exact center of this platen visually this tells me what's the center of the press if you don't have this little plate back here you can put it on a piece of table you can find something in the back to gauge what the center is this is what i do that's the center of my press where that piece of tape is do you have to use tape no you can use a marker you could scratch it into the metal you could do whatever you need to right next to it is another piece of tape this is for left chest prints i found where left chest prints should go i measured it out and then boom I put a piece of tape there so visually I don't have to do this every time I press a t-shirt. I could just go based off of what these indicators are for myself. Now that you got that done, let's talk about the t-shirt now. For the sake of this video, we're going to be using this cream color t-shirt that's made by Next Level. This is an ideal tee from Next Level, size medium. People always get mad when I use black t-shirts on this black base cover right here. I'm like, man, we can't see nothing. So sake of this video, we're gonna use this cream colored shirt. This is the way that I lay my t-shirts down. Do you have to lay them down like this? No, but this is how I do it to make sure that the t-shirt is straight before I put the transfer on straight. This is the base of what you're doing. If you don't do this step correctly, your transfer will be crooked. Take the t-shirt. Don't go based off of the tag. People always assume that the tag is the center of the shirt. Sometimes these tags are sewn in crooked. If you rip the tag off and press your own in, chances are you did that crooked also. Do not go based off of the tag. I go based off of the actual collar. If this collar right here is this U shape, I find the center of that collar and I just eyeball it. I'm not measuring it out, I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm making sure the center of the collar matches up with that center line that we put on our press. This is the middle of the press. This is where the middle of the t-shirt should land. Now, a lot of people press their t-shirts and they press over the collar. I don't do that. I lay the t-shirt all the way over and I make sure the collar is over the edge because I want a nice smooth pressing surface. If we pressed over the collar, this collar seam right here is raised up higher than the actual t-shirt where you're putting your transfer. So you're not getting even pressure. You're smashing the collar down to press onto the transfer. So I lay the t-shirt all the way over, center of the collar, center of the press, center of the t-shirt. That's all I do. Now, how do you make sure that this is centered up perfectly? 
I pull down by the armpits. See where the sleeve meets the body of the t-shirt? Right there, on both sides, I pull down on each side. See how it gets tight right there in the middle? Right here, you could see. So if this side is a little higher than this side, I pull this side down. And then I just match up to make sure that it's even on both sides. So if we took a ruler, here's our ruler, here's the edge of the press, here's the collar. And we measured that two and a half inches. Let's do the other side. Two and a half inches. Now we know that the t-shirt is laying down straight. Do you have to break out a ruler every single time? No, you do not. Go based off of feel. You'll be able to feel, when you pull this down, you'll be able to feel what side is higher, what side needs to be adjusted. And all you do is just give it a little tug, little tug on this side, and you'll start to feel. Use the bottom of the platen, use the rails as a guide with your other fingers. So if I'm pinching with just these two fingers, my other three fingers are feeling the bottom to get a good indication on how far down I need to pull and if both sides feel pretty much even. Once you have that, now you know that there's a center of your t-shirt, it's nice and straight, and you're ready to lay the transfer down. Here's the transfer. We're gonna fold it over. Find the center of the actual transfer, find the center of the actual design. I'm not going based off of the paper because as you can see, this is not a perfectly cut design. This came off of a gang sheet, so there's a point here. This design isn't necessarily square. So I'm matching up this edge with this edge. Looks good. Pinch, top, pinch, the bottom. I'm not doing a full fold and crease. I'm just pinching it just to give me a center. There's the point, there's the point. You're matching up that center line with the center of your press. So you put this piece of tape down here, you're matching up this little line that you have the center of your design with the center of your press. I go four fingers down, one, two, three, four. On a ruler, that's three inches. Can you see that? Three inches down. Put my hand here, right at the edge of the collar, right? Hand here, and then I lay the transfer down. There it is. So now I have the center line, four fingers down. My t-shirt's nice and straight because I checked both sides, nice and even. Everything is lined up, now we're ready to press. This technique works for all kinds of transfers. Here's a screen printed transfer that's not see-through, it's not on film, this is on paper. This is a screen printed transfer onto transfer paper. It's white ink, so it's hard to see, but I'm trying to show you. Same exact concept. If you can't see, hold it up to the light. When you hold it up to the light, you get a better idea on how to line up the designs through the light. So there's the center, creased, creased. Same exact thing. Lay the t-shirt, go based off of the collar, right? Here's the U on the collar. We need this to match up with the center of the press. Lay it down. And then pull down on the armpits on both sides. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and even on both sides. This side feels a little bit higher, so we're gonna pull it down a little bit more. Take your transfer. Four fingers down. We're lining up the center line that we made in our transfer with the center line on the press. That piece of tape, this line, nice and straight, four fingers down. That's it, ready to press. All right, hopefully that helps somebody out out there. That's how I lay my t-shirts down and that's how I lay my transfers down. Those are all the things I go through to make sure that the transfer lands nice and straight on the t-shirt. So if we wore this shirt, four fingers down is where that is. Center of the collar, center of the design. Four fingers down, that's all I do to make sure that this thing is straight. So remember, what you gotta do is make sure that your t-shirt is laying down straight first and then make sure your transfer is straight. A lot of people are just worried about the transfer and not the t-shirt. It starts with the t-shirt. Use my technique of pulling down on the armpits and making sure both sides are even on the edges of the press and then find the center line of your press. 
That should help you out with laying your t-shirt down flat and straight. And then to find the center of the actual transfer, use my technique of folding it backwards. I don't fold it on itself. I fold it backwards because this works for heat transfer vinyl, DTF transfers, plastisol transfers, any type of transfer. I don't put a full crease down the middle. I just pinch the top and the bottom to find the center. Once I got my design centered up, my t-shirt centered up, then I lay it down with four fingers down. Like I said, it's about three inches. Four of my fat fingers is about three inches. That's all you need. So if you do the same exact thing I do, you do not need to buy any of these things. They just get in the way. Use your fingers, use your eyeballs, and use common sense. If you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Try out these techniques, see if they help you out, because this is all I do to press my t-shirts. Appreciate everybody for watching. Follow me on Instagram if you wanted to. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.